Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's M at Mary Z. I just want to thank those who have already subscribed to my channel. Thank you ever so much. I'm really grateful and I'm hoping more and more people subscribe to my channel. I'm just here to share a few health tips, you know, and an awareness of uh, some health, you know, tips so that, you know, we are always aware of what's happening of what's happening around us so today i'm going to talk about today i'm going to talk about a lung condition which is quite familiar to most of us and this lung condition is called asthma and we need to just be aware of what happens in our bodies and we know that lungs are very very important in our health they are very important uh, look at this environment so beautiful wow this is beautiful it's amazing um, so as you all know we have two two lungs we have two lungs so we have two lungs and uh, sometimes uh, breathing problems okay concerning our lungs so with asthma asthma is uh, caused when the tubes the air tubes are inflamed we know that the air tubes are the ones are the ones which carry oxygen and sometimes you know they get inflamed and when and when they get inflamed then we start having people problems with breathing so and sometimes it is said that some allergic conditions can make us have this problem of asthma and asthma uh, attacks adults and children so it's a condition which is you know which is quite common so the causes are like i've said the air tubes in the respiratory tract they get inflamed uh, due to allergic conditions uh, due to you know inhaling some smoke or in other gases so this is what happens with the, the you know with the causes of asthma so when we have this asthmatic attack it becomes so difficult for us to to breathe it becomes so difficult for us to breathe so symptoms of asthma are wheezing, shortness of breath, uh, tight chest and coughing. These are the early symptoms of asthma. You, you start sneezing uncontrollably sometimes. So we need to be just aware. You know, experts, you know, or physicians also remind us that sometimes we can have a very severe attack when it becomes like uh, you know ongoing we might end up having a very severe attack and when a severe attack occurs um, we find it we find the patient wheezing severely and uh, the breathing becomes so difficult in in a way that uh, the patient will find it hard to breathe, hard to eat, hard to speak, and uh, hard even to sleep. And they keep on breathing very fast because the air tracts are inflamed. Uh, the air cannot pass freely through the air tracts. So this can go on for some time and the heart starts beating very fast as well and uh, because the patient is failing to get reasonably enough air so 
So what do you, uh, sometimes also the patient, the patient sleeps, even uh, the skin turns blue. You know, when uh, the, uh, the skin turns blue, it's a sign that oxygen entering the body is limited. So this can also be a sign of a severe, a severe asthma attack. So we need to be aware of all these, you know, happenings during an asthma attack. So the best thing to do, you know, when you are undergoing those problems, obviously you need to seek medical help. So that's the best thing to do. You seek medical help and um, usually people who suffer from asthma get inhalers inhalers you know uh, are the, the ones which are mostly prescribed by the doctors and some other medication so this will relieve the symptoms and this will relieve the attack the asthma attack so we need to be mindful of what we can do to help those who are having asthmatic attacks so to sum up what i've shared in this video just to sum up uh, we should remember that asthma is a lung condition it is caused uh, because of breathing problems usually it is caused because the air tubes are inflamed and it is usually triggered by allergies like pollen or like smoke so we should be mindful of that and also we should know the symptoms the early symptoms of asthma the symptoms are wheezing shortness of breath tight chest and coughing and uh, like any other disease sometimes asthma becomes very severe when it becomes severe very severe the breathing becomes a real problem the patient we have severe wheezing uh, the breathing becomes too fast in that they won't be able to sleep to eat and even to to speak so these are some of the severe conditions or severe attacks of asthma and sometimes uh, a worse condition is when the skin turns you know blue uh, this becomes a problem because oxygen is not even going to the to the body cells so when that con when it happens that way that's a severe asthma attack so i'm glad you know to share some of these healthy tips as always so i hope you have enjoyed this video where i am in this you know beautiful environment so please subscribe to my channel uh, share and comment i'll be sharing more and more beautiful or interesting uh, videos thanks for watching